we're going hands-on with the incredible brand new Samsung T7 Touch. What is going on? How is everyone doing today? It is Andrew here from Apple Insider, and this is the brand new Samsung T7 Touch. Everyone loves Samsung's portable media. I have seen so many people toting around the Samsung T3s, T5s, and I'm sure I'm going to see just as many people with the T7. A lot of the stuff is very familiar, so it's a USB-C external drive, comes with a USB-C and a USB-A cable ready to go in the box. It'll work across iPad, Mac, PC, whatever you have going on. Now the T5 is the predecessor. It's extremely popular, it's got that rugged aluminum exterior, it is very small, and it's quite fast. But all of that has been replaced by the new T7. So as far as the size of the T7 goes, it is very comparable to the T5, but it is a little bit longer and a little bit slimmer. Side by side, you can see how it's a little bit taller, but that's not usually a big deal. Honestly, I prefer that it's actually a slimmer drive than the T5, so definitely a worthy trade-off in my opinion. Now, the T7 comes in two different versions. At launch, there's the T7 Touch in both black and silver. Coming soon after, in Q2, will be just the standard T7, which drops that fingerprint reader, but still retains the new design, new aesthetics, as well as the faster I.O. So if the fingerprint reader is not necessary for you, but you still love the speed improvements that you're seeing with the T7, then just hold on for the standard T7 version. But if you want to make sure everything is really secure and you love the convenience of the fingerprint sensor, then definitely jump on the T7 Touch. Both the T5 and the T7 use NVMe internal media for this. So both internal drives are similarly specced, but what has changed is the USB-C port on the outside. The T7 is using a USB 3.2 Gen 2 USB port, while the T5 was only using the USB 3.1 Gen 2 spec. So we're gonna get a lot better performance out of the NVMe media using the T7 over the T5. Significantly faster speeds. But before we get to the speed test, let's look at the setup and the authentication by way of the fingerprint sensor. Now the T5 and the T7 standard version still have AES-256 encryption using a password, but the T7 Touch also has an option to use the fingerprint sensor, which is great and makes it really easy to work across different medias like I can even connect this over to my iPad and authenticate you with the fingerprint it's super easy to do we just set it up here with the app on our Mac but there's also a version for PC as well as for Android setting up for the first time you enter your password I just put a quick one in here for demonstration purposes and then you're just gonna tap on your finger a bunch of times on the fingerprint sensor it was a little wonky making sure everything was centered perfectly but you go through that kind of similar to setting up touch ID on your Mac or your iPhone once you get through that process, it lets you know you're good to go and allows you to enroll additional fingerprints if you so choose. Up to four fingerprints can be registered for shared drives, whether at home or at the office. Now this will work the same way regardless of what device you're connecting to, your Mac, your PC, your iPad, but when you connect it out of the gate, you're gonna have to authenticate it either using your password or your fingerprint. So we connected it here to our iPad inside of the Files app. You can see the drive shows up, but it's a read-only partition with no actual information in it. Basically just the setup software. I tap my finger on the fingerprint sensor. It'll flash around letting you know the data is being written, read, and then it'll re-pop up here on my iPad in the Files app, and now my data is there. I can see the photos that I've stored on the device or whatever it is that I'm protecting on this SSD. The motion LED works pretty well, but it can be a little bit opaque as far as what's actually going on with the drive itself. Speeds are pretty impressive. Inside of the Black Magic Disk speed test, we are regularly getting speeds above 800 Mbps for the write speeds and easily almost 900 for the read speeds. Those are definitely improved over our T5. Samsung says you can get close to double the performance here on the new drive, and we did get pretty much that. Our write speeds jumped from around 475 to over 800, and our read speeds went from 415, 420, sorry, 515, 520 to almost 900. So not quite double, but definitely getting up there thanks to that upgraded USB-C port. It's not Thunderbolt 3, but these are very, very good speeds for a very economical drive. The Samsung T7 Touch is available now. It comes in 500, one terabyte, and two terabyte versions starting at $129.99 in black or in silver. And following soon will be the standard set T7 that lacks that fingerprint sensor and comes in a variety of colors. If you wanna grab one, follow the link down below in the description and let's go ahead and talk about this. Reach me over on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? 
be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.